Well, Labor Day, of course, the unofficial end of summer, and what a summer for Cleveland. Tons of announcements have people pumped up about what's heading our way. News Channel 5, Jonathan Walsh joining us now from outside Progressive Field. Jonathan, I guess we have seasons of hope upon us. Oh, yeah. The summer season brought us all kinds of great news, didn't it? Right now, we got the Tribe in a pennant race, other sports teams, the Cavs, LeBron is back, even Johnny Football. Nice throw, Johnny is right here in Cleveland, and even the political season is hot. It's a great day for the city of Cleveland and for all of Northeast Ohio. That was the reaction to the Republican National Convention coming here in 2016. Billions invested in downtown helped attract the three-day major political event that promises a big-time boost to the economy. I was happy to see it when I saw the headline. On the heels of the RNC, the CLE got back LBJ. Great opportunity for the city of Cleveland, uh, just the local economy and everything like that. LeBron James made decision 2.0 a number one priority to get back to his roots. Tens of thousands welcomed him home during a rally, and since then, the Cavs team is welcoming a new lineup. Cavs should definitely be coming back from that bad year last year. The Cleveland Browns select Johnny Menzel. The Cleveland Browns hope to turn around their own bad year with first round picks like quarterback hopeful Johnny Manziel. I jumped and touched the ceiling. I mean, it's the best thing that's happened to Cleveland in a while. It's been a summer of big expectations for Johnny Football and the Browns. After what many fans consider a less than desirable preseason, people tell us they can still sense a change. It's been a long time coming, slowly coming to it, and it's like it's here now. You can see it, you can feel the excitement. And even 20,000 national and international athletes called Cleveland home as the gay games came to town last month. Significant events, tons of Cleveland confidence, and building futures. That's what people here are looking forward to. I can say in 10 years, I think we're going to be regarded as one of the destinations in the United States to come and visit. I can see it coming. So, no doubt about it, the summer of 2014 will go down as one to be remembered. And that's nothing to shake your bobblehead at. Reporting live, I'm Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5. All right, Jonathan, good deal. Good time to be in Cleveland.